that in a crystal lattice, each cation and anion suffers attractive interaction from the unlike ions. That is, if we see for cation, suppose, then if anions are present, there is an attraction, but also a repulsive interaction with the closely spaced like ions. Like if cations are placed and another cation is placed, then there is a repulsion. Then there is repulsion and attraction and all the summations of geometrical interaction is referred to as Madelung constant. So here we can get an idea of what is Madelung constant. And the Madelung constant is taken as A. So the previous formula of electrostatic attraction followed by a term of A. So we see that the coulombic potential is given by minus A by 4 pi epsilon naught z plus z minus e square by r. Now, the value of a can be determined mathematically from a converging series using computer program. Now, what do we mean by converging series will be discussed in details in the next video. Now, in hey everyone, welcome to GemChem. Now, today's video is an ionic bonding part 2 video and here we will deal with numericals based on bond land equation and bond Meyer equation and also we will deal with the Madelung constant in details. Now already one video is uploaded on ionic bonding, you can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. Now if you are new to JMChem, do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now first question tells us to calculate the lattice energy of NaCl crystal using the following data that is A which is the Madelung constant is given, E value is given that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and N value is 8 and the equilibrium interionic distance that is R0 is given as 281.4 into 10 to the power minus 12 meter so the R value is given in meter and epsilon naught value is also given to be as 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 Faraday per meter. Now, since here A value is given, E is given and N is given and also R0 is given and epsilon naught. So, we can understand that we have to apply the bond land equation. Now, in the previous video, we have already seen that this is the bond meyer equation, right? So, we just substitute the values of these variables and then get the value. So if we see n, n is the Avogadro number so 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into 1.7458 into minus 1 into plus 1 and if you see that this formula has a minus in the front so this minus and this minus gets cancelled so we get a positive value and here it will be 1 by 8 so n value is substituted as 8 and R0 value is substituted as this equilibrium interionic distance, right? And ultimately, the value which we obtain of the lattice energy is near about 700 kilojoule per mole. Now, in the next question, we see that it is told to calculate the lat lattice energy of AgCl using bond meyer equation. And A is given, E is given, epsilon naught, rho value is given and R is given. So, rho value is important for bond meyer equation, right? And the next statement is that we have to compare the value thus obtained with the experimental value of 903 kilojoule per mole and we have to comment on it. So, see this is the bond meyer equation, right? And we substitute all the values and see here this R value is given in picometer. So, we just convert the picometer into meter by multiplying it into 10 to the power minus 12 and then here for this case there is no need of conversion as rho value is also in picometer and r is also in picometer so on substitution we get the value near about 700 kilojoule per mole so we observe here huge deviation right so why this deviation occurs this occurs because when we had derived the formulas we have considered only ionic interactions right but in case of AgCl, there are certain percentage of covalency. So let us see this one. The answer is that wide deviation observed. This is the characteristics of this particular system. While using equation, we are considering 100% ionic character as we are considering electrostatic interaction. But AgCl has appreciable covalency. So it is 
deviating. Okay. Now we go to Mandelung constant. Now in the previous video we have already discussed where we have used Mandelung constant, but how we have got the Mandelung constant, we have not seen that. There was only one line that there would be series and which will be solved to give us the Madelung constant. So Madelung constant for different crystal lattices are different and here we will deal only with the NaCl crystal. Now if we consider this NaCl crystal, so this blue balls are our Na plus whereas red balls are our Cl minus. So if we consider this particular central sodium ion, then its first nearest neighbor is 6 Cl minus and these are given by green arrows that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the down portion and 6 here. Now these are at a distance of R and next second nearest neighbors is 12 Na plus ions which are present and represented by yellow arrows and they are at a distance of root 2 R and again for the third nearest neighbor there is 8 Cl minus ions which are these ones which are present in the corners and they are 8 in numbers and they are at a distance of root 3 R and this continues then there will be fourth nearest neighbor and this continues. So remembering that in actual crystal the unit lattice is repeated in three dimensions we shall get 6 more Na plus ions at 2 R that is root 4 R this continues right and 24 Cl minus ions at root 5R and 24 Na plus ions at root 6R and so on. The potential energy of the central sodium ion due to Coulombic interaction can be written as same formula which we have seen for Coulombic interaction but only one thing appears is that distance changes and the value of N also changes right. So we will just substitute the value and on substituting the value we will get a series. And this series within the bracket will converge slowly and its limiting value is 1.74758. For a different arrangement of ions in the lattice, the series within the bracket would be different. So we are dealing only with NaCl crystal. Now you can see different crystals with different Madelung constant and the series will be different with respect to the crystal structure. Now there are some examples given in AK Das book of concise inorganic chemistry part 1 you can read that book for details of madelung constant for different crystal lattices but here we have only discussed about the nacl which is the most important example and the limiting value of the series is thus a constant for any particular type of lattice and is called madelung constant and its numerical factor characteristics of a lattice type it is a numerical factor which is shows a characteristics of a particular lattice type and takes into account the electrostatic interaction between all ions in a crystal of a given geometry. As seen above, the value of the Madelung constant of sodium chloride type lattice where there is 6 is to 6 coordination is 1.748. Now, what about the 6 is to 6 coordinations? We have already dealt with sodium chloride crystal in solid state video. I will give the link of that particular video in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. So this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.